Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, its uh, hypotenuse uh, AC is uh, 277 units. And the perimeter of this uh, triangle has been given to us as 644 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate uh, these missing sides. Uh, side uh, a b and this side uh, b c please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let me go ahead and label uh, the side lengths of this uh, triangle i'm going to call this uh, hypotenuse as our side lowercase c i'm going to call this side lowercase a and this side uh, lowercase b and now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, a square plus uh, b square equal to our c value is uh, 277 whole uh, square. Let me label uh, this our equation uh, number one. And here's our next step. We know that the perimeter of this uh, triangle is 644. And we know the perimeter means uh, the sum of all uh, these uh, sides. A plus B plus C is going to be equal to 644. And we know our C value has been given to us as uh, 277. So I'm going to replace uh, C by... 277 over here as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this c by 277 and now we are going to subtract uh, 277 from both sides this we can see this is gone so therefore our a plus b value turns out to be simply 367 let me call this our equation uh, number two and now I'm going to take a square on both uh, sides uh, of this uh, equation. And now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus b square plus 2ab. I'm going to apply it on the left hand side binomial. So therefore this is going to become uh, a square plus b square plus uh, 2 times ab equal to 367 whole square and now let's make an observation we see a square plus b square is equal 277 whole square from equation one so therefore i'm going to replace uh, this one by 277 whole uh, square as you can see in this uh, next step i have substituted uh, this a square plus b square by this one and now we are going to subtract 277 whole square from uh, both sides this is gone so therefore we ended up with the 2 times a b equals to 367 square minus 277 whole square and now let's recall this famous identity a square minus b square could be written as a minus b times a a plus b and here we can see we got the difference of two squares so we can apply this identity so this whole thing could be written as 367 minus 277 times 367 plus 277 as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's make an observation we can see the difference of these two numbers is uh, 90 and the sum of uh, these two numbers is uh, 644 as you can see in this uh, next step and now i'm going to divide both sides by 2 to isolate a times b this 2 and 2 is gone so a times uh, b turns out to be 28 uh, 98 uh, 0 let me label this one as our equation uh, number uh, 3 and now let's make an observation since we are interested in calculating the value of a and uh, b and here we got a plus b equal to 367 if somehow we could uh, get a minus b value 
then we can solve a minus b and a plus b for a and b. So therefore, let's recall this another famous uh, identity. a minus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square minus 2 times ab. And here on the right hand side, we can see a square plus b square equals to 277 whole square from equation 1. So therefore, I'm going to substitute this one by simply 277 whole square. And also this uh, a times b value from this equation uh, 3 is uh, 289810. So I'm going to replace this one uh, 289810 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this a square plus b square by this uh, 277 whole square. And likewise, uh, a, b, I substituted its value over here. And in this uh, next step, uh, the square of 277 is going to be 76,729. And when we multiply these two numbers, we are going to get 57,960. So therefore, uh, our this uh, a minus b whole uh, square value is going to be equal to, let me go ahead and subtract uh, these ones. That's going to give us uh, 18,769. And now let me go ahead and uh, take the square root uh, on both sides to undo this uh, square. And we can see this square, square root is gone. So therefore, uh, our a minus b value turns out to be 137. Let me call this our equation uh, number 4. And now we are ended up with these uh, two equations. This system of equations a plus b equals to 367 and a minus b is uh, 137. And now we are going to solve the system for uh, a value and uh, b value. And now I'm going to add these two equations. This positive b and negative b is gone. So therefore, 2 times a is going to be equal to 504. Let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate a. This 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore, our a value turns out to be 252 units. And in this uh, next step, I am going to substitute a equals to 252 value in this uh, equation uh, 2 over here. And here's our equation uh, 2. So I'm going to replace uh, this a value by this uh, 252. So therefore I can write uh, 252 the a value plus b equal to 367. And now I'm going to subtract 252 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, our B value turns out to be 115 units. So this is our B value. So thus our this uh, missing side A turns out to be 252 units, whereas our this uh, missing side B turns out to be 115 units. And that's our final uh, answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.